What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a lightning effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So this is a requested tutorial, I got this requested to me on my Snapchat, so if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below, ask me on Twitter, ask me on Skype, ask me wherever you would like, and I'll be sure to make the tutorial as soon as I can. Now there's many different ways to do this, and one way I've seen loads of times is where you make your own lightning effect, and then you put it in. However, I don't think that looks that good, so in this video I'm going to be showing you a different way of doing this. So right now I'm going to be showing you two examples of this, one in a low light situation, and one with light. So hopefully you like it and hopefully it's what you're looking for. Now the low light situation is pretty hard to edit because you're going to have to really focus on where the lightning actually is. When I was editing the low light situation it was quite hard. Okay so let's get on how you're actually going to be able to do this. First of all you're going to need to download this. Now this will be on Mediafire and this is the lightning effect. You can see it's a bit messed up on the recording however we do make it look better as you've seen. Okay so I'm going to be demonstrating this in the situation where there is light because it is much more easier. Now first of all you want to go ahead and insert your clip, you can see I've got no audio with this, however I'm just going to keep it there. So you go here, you get the lightning effect, you're going to go ahead and drag it, and you're going to drag it on top, like so. Now this has no audio as well, so go here on the audio, press U, and then press delete. Now you can go ahead right click here and click delete track. Now the next thing you need to do is go to the start right here, go to this, and make it add. Now you can see we've got a blue around it, and it's not looking that good. So come to your video effects, come to your chroma key, then add the default one on, and then after that you want to add the blue screen on, like that. Now you can see we've got our lightning effect, so it's going to be on top like this. But of course we need to position it and shrink it down in the right position. Okay, so now from here what you want to do is go and find the part where you're about to start your lightning effect. So my hands are coming up there, and then we start it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this and put it to where it's going to start. Now come to the track motion. Mine's going to be up here, yours might be out in a pop-out window. Make sure this is checked right here. Now what we're going to do is shrink it down, so make sure these two are checked and then let's just begin to shrink it down into position. So drag from the corner into the side like so, and then you can make sure this is checked right here, enable rotation, so you can enable it into the correct position like this. Okay, and now we're going to keep going through. So with this checked, we can go through here, and it's also going to move the video, so it'll make it easier for us. So you get the idea, and I'm going to quickly go through all this, and I'm going to be back to you when I've done it all. Okay, so you can see I've actually only had to use two keyframes here. However, it depends how much you move in your video, it'll decide how many keyframes you'll need. So once you have found the end of where you're going to start moving, go ahead, zoom in, press S, press the clip, and press S. And then with the remaining part, just go ahead and press delete. Now we'll go ahead and see what it looks like. Now you can see that actually looks pretty good, like that, and it ends like so. It's really simple to do, it's really quick to get your head around it, and it doesn't take much time as you've just seen. So yeah, that is it for this video, I really hope you have enjoyed it, I hope it has helped you. Again, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Ask me on Facebook, ask me on Twitter, ask me on my Snapchat, ask me wherever you would like, and I'll be sure to make the video for you as soon as I can. So again, for this, all you'll need is Sony Vegas, of course, along with the lightning effect, which will be download linked in the description, and it will be on Mediafire. So yeah, that is it for this video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also, be sure to check out my gaming channel where I'll post daily. Check out my FIFA channel where I'll post daily. And finally, be sure to add me on Snapchat, where I just what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope I have helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. Grab a mic, kill the stage, yeah, second nature now Mama said I make a prayer, I told her I made a prayer